Hey, what's going on everyone? Michael back with another Microsoft Teams tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to schedule out of office message within your Microsoft Teams application. So first you want to open Teams and in the triple dot in the right top right hand corner next to your name icon, click on settings. And then under the general tab, you want to scroll down until you see the out of office. So let's click on the schedule button. And so let's say I'm out of the office until, you know, a couple days and I want to take a message. The good one that works is, hi, I'm out of the office until the date you come back. So let's say I'm out of the office till May 24th. Uh, please contact X with any issues. So I usually just put like a coworker that does a similar role with any major serious issues. This is a good message to use, but whatever you want to put, go feel free. So you can send replies outside the organization if you um, have talking to outside members. I'm not going to check mark that. And if you want to schedule it during a time period, you can also do that. So let's say I want to schedule it for the 27th, because I'm going to be out of the office the 27th till 30th. You can do that here, and then um, during that time frame, when it comes around, it'll automatically send out that message to anyone that reaches out to you. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click on Save. And so now, you can see that, hey, I'm out of the office until 524. Please contact X with any issues. Uh, this will show for all the users in your organization. And if you're available or whatever, it's still going to show that, hey, I'm available, but I'm out of office. You're busy. Busy. I usually set it to appear offline while I'm out of the office because I'm not going to be in my laptop. So yeah, that's how you schedule out of office message within Microsoft Teams. So if you like the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be putting out some more tutorials on SharePoint, Teams, and Power Automate. And that'll be it for the video. I'll catch you in the next one.